Hey y'all, I am going to talk to you guys tonight about a very sleepy overnight face mask. I don't know if you've ever tried an overnight mask before, but if you are struggling with dry skin and feel like you need to add something else into your routine to add just a little bit more care to your skin, this is absolutely perfect. This is $22. It is a calming mask. So that's gonna help just soothe, moisturize. I have washed everything off except for my mascara so that you guys can still see my eyes. <laughs> um, and I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about the ingredients and why you absolutely need this. Very Sleepy has five separate plant extracts, including sugarcane, orange, lemon, maple. It has all kinds of stuff that is just so good for your skin. The plant extracts are going to help promote an even skin tone, which clearly is, honestly, that's one of my biggest complaints about my skin is just redness, um, right? And especially depending on what time of the month it is, I have like a lot more redness. So this is something that I would use to help even that skin tone and promote my skin's health and just shine, right? Skin dullness is something I talk about a lot because I feel like my skin used to look so dull before I started using Posh and now it just like, I feel like it looks so much better. Sleepy has rosehip oil, which is good for helping to promote cell turnover, which is part of that brightness that I'm talking about. And I don't know if you knew this, but melatonin also helps to calm your skin. So this has melatonin, which is going to help calm and soothe um, that skin. If you live in a cold place or a dry place, like I just moved back to Nevada and my skin is like screaming for some moisture, this is definitely going to help. To me, it smells like lavender with kind of a citrus um, undertone to it. So let me show you guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a nice layer. I'm going to sleep on it and then I'm going to rinse it in the morning. You can tell it's nice and creamy. It kind of has like a satiny finish. I should have grabbed my, I usually use a mask brush, but alas, you know, here we are. I'm banished to the other bathroom. Alrighty, so you can see it's all applied. I am going to get a hopefully good night's rest and I will show you in the morning. Hey y'all, I'm back and just so you know, mistakes were made. I applied a bunch more um, this morning to like take some photos. So yours will not look like this the next morning. I've been waiting for it to dry, but I put it on so thick it probably never will. So when you're putting it on at night, make sure that you put it on um, a little bit before you go to bed, probably even like 20 minutes is plenty of time. Um, and it will just go right in. It will not look like this, but I am gonna rinse and just kind of get the feel for how my skin feels after having this on all night long. Okay, so my skin feels so soft. Honestly, it's like really, really satiny, which is something I'm thrilled about because the last um, overnight mask we had really left that satiny finish. I love it. So if you have dry skin and you need to add an extra level of protection, try this out like once a week, just really treating that deep, um, moisture mask uh, for your skin is going to be super helpful. Go ahead and snag your very sleepy today. Mwah.